it's time to have fun with science. As you well know, I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and this is my longtime loyal laboratory assistant, Beaker. Also with us are our intrepid interns. Let's have a hand for Newton and Einstein. There's Einstein, hello. Now we are from Muppet Labs, where for many years, I've created inventions to make everyone's life easier. Isn't that right, Beaky? We've been invited by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some groundbreaking work going on at Puppet Labs and to get you excited about science. Are you excited about science? Let me hear you! So to bring the thrill of the lab directly to you, I've invented this most remarkable vehicle. Introducing... The Muppet Mobile Lab! Thank you for that unsolicited applause. It fuels our passion for science. But unfortunately, Beaker's passion seems to be out of gas. You see, Beaker has decided to leave Muppet Labs. Anyhow, I guess it's no secret that uh, I value my relationship with Beaker very much. He's always been my best friend. I hate to see you go, Beaky. You too. All right, Beaker, that's enough. There's no crying in science. Well, folks, I may not see my colleague Beaker for a long time. Yes, his bags are packed, and he's decided to take a long trip. But as I always say, science makes your life easier. That's why this invention is perfect for Beaker's big trip. I'm proud to share with you. The Vacation Tron! Yes, with the Vacation Tron, you can go to exotic locales instantly and never have to pack a suitcase. Allow me to demonstrate. Now relax, Beaker. The experiment is as safe as anything we've ever done at Buffett Labs. Here we go. First, we're off to merry old London, England. And it can't be London. Without fog, yes, fog so thick, you won't even know you're not really in England at all. <laughs> Next comes Alaska. Yes, ice cold Alaska, where the temperature cools and snow is all around. Speaker, honestly, it's only snow. Next stop, Africa. Yes, Africa. To see the most famous waterfall in the world, Victoria Falls. And finally, we travel to Indonesia. Yes, Indonesia, a country with more volcanoes than anywhere else in the world. A trip around the world in under a minute and a half. Well, Peter, wasn't science fun? Hey, everyone, let me hear you. How did you like that experiment, huh? Nice. Well, Peter, after seeing what it's like out in the world, you'll probably want to stick around after all, eh? What? The experiment made you want to leave all the more? Oh dear, that plan backfired. Well, uh, everyone, uh, it looks like Beaker really is leaving Muppet Labs. We'll begin the search for his replacement soon, but first, Beaker, I think it would be fitting for you to share some parting words with us. Would you like to hear Beaker say what's in his heart, everybody? Oh, I think Beaker needs a little encouragement. Come on, everyone, let's cheer him on. Beaker, Beaker. Beaker, Beaker. 
Beaker. All right, Beaker. The floor is yours. So articulate. Everyone, wasn't that so fantastic? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, you there, sir, in the plaid green shirt with the dark spectacles? Yes. Hello there. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, tell me, what is your name first? Grant. Grant, it's nice to meet you. Grant, what was your favorite part of the speech? Uh, the meep. The meep? That's my favorite part, too. Grant, you know, we seem to be on the same wavelength, actually. Uh, you know, Grant, you may have the makings of a future lab assistant. Let me ask you a few questions here. Where are you from? Claremont. Oh, yes. Well, me too! <laughs> and, uh, Grant, what's your favorite color? Uh, blue. <gasps> me too! We have so much in common, Grant. And now, one more question. What is your middle name? Weldon. Me too! Wow. What? Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, no, no. Weldon is not my middle name. Uh, actually, Weldon is my cat's middle name! Ladies and gentlemen, that the, the search is over! Ooh. Everyone cheer for my new lab assistant and my new best friend. And uh, what was your name again? Grant. Grant! Let's hear it! Chant with me, everyone! Grant! 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 All right, Beaker, you can come down from there now. We found your replacement. Einstein, help him down off the lab. Don't be so jealous, Beaker. This is what you wanted. Beaker, don't, don't do this. Don't spin the lab, Beaker. You're going to wreck the lab. What do you mean you changed your mind? Beaker! I thought you wanted to leave, Beaky. Wait, you want to stay? Really? You mean it? Oh, Beaker, well, this is wonderful news. I knew you'd never leave me. Thank you, Grant. You know, I'm sure you'll make a wonderful lab assistant someday. Thank you. Uh, let's everyone give Grant a round of applause. Thank you, Grant. Oh, and everyone also cheer for Beaker because he is back. Maybe together, Beaker, we could show some of these fine folks one last invention before we leave, right? What, what do you say? Just to show how fun science could be, everyone, huh? Great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you affected by the onslaught of colds and allergies, I'm excited to introduce... The Anti-Sneeze Ray! <laughs> Sneezes will soon become a thing of the past with the help of Beaker here, who will be our test subject. Now I simply pull this lever to release a cloud of carpet dust. And now we add a little cayenne pecker, pepper to the mixture. And uh, Beaker, do you feel the urge to sneeze? Let it build. Hold on. Now the mighty invisible beams from this powerful ray gun will stop the speed dead in its tracks. <laughs> Success! Beaker didn't sneeze, it works! The anti-sneeze ray really works! Uh, side effects of this invention may include uh, losing your wardrobe. <laughs> Well, that's all from Muppet Labs. Thank you for being a wonderful audience. We better get back to the lab, Beaker. I just had a brilliant idea. A clothing stapler. Don't worry, Beaker. It'll only sting for a minute. Oh, I'm so glad you're back, Beaky. We better get some clothes on you, Beaker, or else you'll catch cold. You know, these Disney parks have a dress code, you know. So long, everybody, from Muppet Labs. Goodbye!